Solar to the home. What an interesting interdisciplinary solution. It's now time to move to a, a couple of lectures from our partners and sponsors. And our first lecture now will be by Tanya Picula of Autodesk. And she will speak about the responsibility that Autodesk has assumed and its contribution to assist companies in the clean tech domain. Tanya. Hello. Um, let me try and get my presentation. Okay, it's working. Uh, hello, there are um, three reasons uh, why I've shown you just our new corporate show reel from this year. First of all, I find, uh, maybe bet better get a bit closer to the microphone, I find uh, the music uh, very catchy and usually wakes uh, people up. Uh, and uh, second, it gives you a bit of an idea about what Autodesk is doing. So it uh, saves me for of, uh, having to say too much about Autodesk now. And uh, the third reason is, and that's the reason why, uh, what I'm really happy about, is that one of our um, startup companies that we are uh, supporting through our program is actually featured in this corporate show reel. It's um, uh, the Israeli company uh, Greenride, and they're developing this beautifully designed personal urban transportation vehicle called Ainu. And um, yeah, they're, they're featured right at the beginning uh, after Ronaldo arranging his hair. So my name is Tanya Pikula, and I'm uh, the program manager um, for the Cleantech Partner Program uh, of Autodesk. Um, I'm responsible for, for EMEA, and I'm based in Munich. And I'm uh, very happy and delighted to be here today and to be able to talk to you at the Cleantech Open Israel. So just... Just a very brief um, background about Autodesk. Autodesk is a US-based software company, uh, software, 3D design software for engineering, architecture, and media and entertainment. And uh, since its introduction of AutoCAD in 1982, Autodesk has, develop, has continued to, to develop uh, a, a broad uh, product portfolio uh, for various users, industry, uh, uh, industries, and requirements. Um, Autodesk's vision is um, to help people imagine, design, and create a better world. And this is powerful. So our tools help to create the world, but 
it is the users, mm -hmm. uh, it's the designers in turn who actually create the sustainable solutions, like you see here the, the towers in Shanghai or uh, an energy efficient car that you are probably all familiar with, the Tesla car, also done with our software. So the challenges we're facing today, uh, they are, they are, uh, the challenges are of epic proportions in, in water, in urbanization, in climate and in health. And design plays an essential role in solving them. So when we at Autodesk talk about a better world, what do we mean by that? We mean by that that in 2050, 10 billion people can live well and can live within the limits of the planet. That they have access to water, that they have access to medical support, to infrastructure, to, to, um, to housing, and so on. And it is... It is the better world. It, we, are not, we are not creating the better world through our products, but it's designers like you. You are the ones who are tackling exactly these epic challenges. You're shaping the world uh, to solve the problems to make it a better place. And that's why we at Autodesk extremely proud and happy to be able to support companies like you and uh, whom you see here is our CEO, Karl Bass. Uh, a bit more than six years ago, he said exactly the, the sentence that you see here, that clean tech innovators should have incredibly powerful design tools for solving the world's most difficult environmental problems. And that's when our clean tech partner program was born. And so the Autodesk Clean Tech Partner Program, what we do is we support startup companies, uh, early stage companies like you with free 3D design software, depending on the requirements of the company, worth up to 150,000 US dollars. The, um, the licenses are val um, um, they're valid for three years and um, yeah, eligible companies can apply on our program website. Uh, you, you might see or might see not because it's uh, the bottom. It's my email address just in case you don't uh, get to talk to me later if you have any further questions. And um, today, um, after we have launched the program in, yeah, in North America six years ago, for Europe and Israel, we've launched it um, five years ago. It's also available um, in some Asia-Pacific regions like Australia, New Zealand, uh, Singapore, Japan, Hong Kong, and since the beginning of this year also in China. But I'm very happy to say that in those five years, we have been able to support around 1,000 startup companies in Europe and Israel alone. So you, you see some examples from Israel. Here's some companies that we've been supporting in the past. Uh, there's uh, GreenRide, which I've mentioned earlier, another um, um, transport solution, Rodex, and two water technology companies, Hydrospin and Watergen. And I was really happy to hear from Elan from Shackertrack earlier on that they've joined our program not uh, so long ago. And I hope Elan uh, will be, uh, he'll be uh, talking to you anyway, uh, I think, in, in a short time. So um, he'll be a good advocate for our program. There are uh, two final things that I'd like to say to you now. Uh, one is that we are um, expanding our program. So we're from now on, we're not only supporting entrepreneurs who have an environmental, uh, environmental impact, but also a social impact. And um, last but not least, I'd just like to say thank you 
to all of you, all those designers that are already um, imagining, designing and creating a better world. Thank you.